Hello friends, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. There are three ways I know through which DSLR camera can be used as a virtual webcam for OBS. All that you need is a USB cable. One end of the cable will get inserted into the DSLR and the other end will move into USB port of your PC or laptop. That's it. So first software we are going to talk about is Sparco Cam which will act as a virtual webcam. So don't worry about the links, you will get them all in the description of this video. They give a free trial which comes with a watermark. Maybe you can do a test run and then decide about going for a paid version. Simply download if your PC meets your system requirements. After you connect your DSLR with PC or laptop, using this USB cable turn on the camera, let's now launch this application Sparco Cam. Mine is a Canon 1100D and since camera is turned on, you can see your image, not the image, video here. Scroll down and you will see live view autofocus. Ensure that this is set to live mode, otherwise this live recording will not happen. You can minimize this or leave this as it is and open OBS. Set up a new source and we will go for video capture device. Give it some name. DSLR ok so it has already picked up my video stream choose Sparco cam virtual webcam set the resolution to custom basis what you need I will choose 1280 into 720p and ok set the border to fit the screen that's it on the OBS settings let this Sparco cam window open in the background you see this Sparco.com soft logo right here in the center. This will go if you buy a pro version. Since we are working on the free version, this appears even if we go live. All that we are doing is we are replacing the PC webcam with DSLR. There is no change in OBS settings. If you want to learn about the best OBS settings for YouTube live streaming, I've done a video on that. You can check that out. Link is shared in the description of this video. Other thing I want to tell you is you will not be able to use the microphone of this camera because it doesn't support. You will need to use a separate audio device with your PC or laptop. Well, now let's move to the next method which is about using that CD which comes with the new DSLR. You would have got it. If you use that, there's a software which can be used to connect both these things. Well, if you have lost that or misplaced it and you have got a Canon device, you can go to the web and search for EOS utility, download the same and let's now move to see how that works. Before you launch EOS utility, ensure that you are DSLR is connected with PC or laptop with a USB cable and it's turned on. This is the shortcut for US utility for my Canon device. I am opening this. You will see a box like this. Need to choose this option camera settings slash remote shooting. Do a double click and open it. You will see this kind of a window and live view shoot is the option we are interested in. Do a double click and this has captured the window. Remote live view window has got my video running. We will now need to go to OBS and do the source capture again. But this time we will choose uh, window capture instead of video capture. Let's see that. OBS, add a source, window capture. Give it some name again, DSLR. Okay. It has picked up my video. Remote live view window is the selected, which is the right option. Okay. Adjust the size. For a full screen view, we need to adjust from here, from the left as well. Here it goes. It's covering full screen. That's it about OBS settings for this US utility. Now we are going to talk about the third software, which is Digicam control. For that, let me remove this source. So I will be able to create new when I come back to OBS. Minimize this. Close this window. Close this. Okay, uh, I have this shortcut for Digicam control. You can go ahead and download it from this site, digicamcontrol.com slash download. There's a beta version and there's a stable version. I tried doing it the beta version first, but it didn't pick up. So mine is a stable version I'm using. Go to the download link and download the same. Here's the shortcut. Open it. Again, ensure when you do this, your uh, a camera device should be connected with PC or laptop and it should be in turned on position. Let's close this. To get my live view here, I will need to click on LV which is the live view. 
simply click on it once and here's the live view before the live shoot if you want to make some changes in shutter speed or aperture you can make all those changes from the settings and let's now go to obs and create a source capture window and give it some name again it has already picked up this is fine digicam control live view window class and okay we are almost done with the settings you can adjust this so that it only captures your webcam hello this is a full screen view very clear and happy streaming before i exit obs i got a reminder that when i was doing the testing for digicam control when i used obs 64 bit version it closed after 15 or 20 minutes but when i shifted to 32 bit it worked fine so maybe you can just try if it works fine for 64 bit good otherwise you may try this on 32 bit version if you know of any other software or any other method through which these two things can be connected do share that in comments below i love comments and this will help everyone in the community well if you have not subscribed to this channel till now do that and keep supporting technofair thanks for your time